hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing my calm and natural makeup routine firstly i'll be using nivea cream to moisturize my face and aquaphor to moisturize my lips i use the smashbox photo finish primer and the Too faced hanger hangover rx face primer to prime my face and no you don't need both I use my Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Foundation in the shade 460 and my Morphe M439 brush to apply my foundation. Using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn and my damp beauty blender, I use that to highlight the high points of my face. So that will be under my eyes, my eyelid, my forehead, my chin, the bridge of my nose, and above my upper lip. Using my Laura Mercier translucent powder in the color medium deep, I'm going to use the same damp beauty blender to apply the powder in the same places that I highlighted. Grab a snack, grab something to eat, put on some music, and let that powder sit. Do not wipe it off just yet. Just let it sit for a good two to five minutes, and then you can swipe it off your face. Now it's time for contour. So I'm using my Anastasia Contour Kit, my Black Radiance Concealer Stick in the darkest shades, and I'm using my Morphe E4 brush to apply that onto my face. I go for a very natural, lightly applied contour, so that's why it, it kind of seems like nothing's being applied on my face, but I promise it is. I just don't like too much. I don't like the whole muddy look, but it's going to come together in the end. After you apply a cream onto your face, you must set it with a powder. So I'm using my Morphe contour and highlighter kit in the color showman's to apply the contour onto my face using the morphe e4 brush using my real techniques powder brush i wipe the remaining powder off my face Using my beauty blender, I dip that in my Laura Mercier powder and I use that to reverse contour. Now reverse contouring is pretty much that, where you put it underneath your contour and the purpose of this is to make your contour look sharper and cleaner and neater. It pretty much cuts that line for you, if you know what I'm saying. This is the best thing ever. I will continue doing this because it really changed the game for me. Using my Black Radiance Concealer Stick, I use that to nose contour. I don't contour my nose because I want a slimmer nose. I contour my nose because I placed a highlight on the bridge of my nose and without having a shadow on both sides of that highlight, it looks kind of weird. So 
So my eyebrows were already filled in prior to this video. However, I do use Wet n Wild eyebrow pencil in the color Simmer Brown to fill in my eyebrows. I use LA Girls Pro Concealer in the color Espresso and two Morphe brushes to clean up my brows. I don't remember the name of the two brushes, but they'll be listed down below. I like to use the concealer to clean up the bottom and the top of my brow and I also like to use it to clean up the front of my brow so that it can give it a more ombre natural effect. Here, I'm just blotting away any excess oil and excess product. Using my powder brush, I use it to brush away the powder that was left underneath my contour. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but I can. My contour looks a lot more pronounced and it pops out more. So that's why I like reverse contouring. So I'm using a MAC blush in the color Film Noir and a Morphe brush, and I'm gonna place that in my crease. I'm not sure which Morphe brush that is, but I'm going to place it down below. So what I'm doing right here is placing powder underneath my eyeshadow. It's pretty much the same as reverse contouring your cheeks. Using my Morphe M441 brush, which by the way is the best blending brush in the world, I use that to blend out my crease a little bit more. Because I wasn't going for anything too crazy, I just started placing random glitter shadows onto my lid. So here, I'm just using my Rimmel London Black Pencil Eyeliner to tight line my waterline. And because I wasn't wearing any liquid eyeliner this day, I put some on my lash line as well. I use Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara for my top and bottom lashes. To highlight, I just spray my brush with some Fix Plus and I'm going to use the highlighting portion of the Morphe kit to highlight my cheeks. It's lip time, so I'm using Max lip pencil in the color chestnut to line my lips. Here I'm using the Balm's liquid lipstick in the color trustworthy and I place that all over my lips. Your 
After I let that dry for a couple of seconds, I used my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Abu Dhabi and I only placed that in the center of my lips. I'm all about this contour right now but this is the finished look i hope that you liked it i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i wish you all a merry christmas bye